What's up guys? I wanna show you five exercises today to get you away from that wall and get you closer to a freestanding handstand. If you're somebody who's comfortable kicking up against the wall, try out these five exercises that I have for you. If you are still kind of a little bit nervous about kicking up against the wall, check out my complete beginner's guide that will get you nice and comfortable and understanding the patterns for your hips and get you closer to that freestanding handstand. So you feel comfortable kicking up against the wall, but now we're just gonna refine that technique and work towards freestanding. So now we're going to still kick up against the wall, but when we kick up this time, we're gonna to try to open our shoulders and get our hips to touch the wall first. That way it keeps us in more of a dish position and starts to get us stacking a lot more efficient. You can try both feet. So we'll place the other foot in front. We push the floor away, allow our hips to touch the floor or the wall first, and then we come back down. Next up, we've got some heel pulls, so we're still gonna kick up the same way, but we're gonna use our fingertips now to pull our heels away from the wall. So we still kick up the same way. We allow the feet to come up. Now from here, I'm gonna elevate, so I'm really pushing the floor away. Pull my ribs in. I'm going to tuck my pelvis, and now I'm using my fingertips to just lift me away from the wall. So every time I kind of fall back towards the wall, I'm allowing my fingertips to push into the floor get me freestanding. Hold this for 10 seconds and then come back down. Next up, we've got chest to wall handstand. We're now gonna be working on shifting our hips away from the wall. And this can be quite daunting if you're not used to it, but it stops us going into a banana position, makes us use our fingertips and works towards that freestanding. So hands go on the floor. We walk up the wall. So keep pushing the floor away as you walk up the wall. You go in nice and close. Now I'm going to stay elevated, tuck my pelvis, and I'm just allowing my hips to shift away from the wall. Now you can see I'm using my fingertips to stay balanced. I push back to the wall and I go again. So keep the pelvis tucked, stay elevated, shift your hips away from the wall. And now I'm using my fingers here to balance, to push me back towards the wall. So tuck the pelvis, shift the hips, and hold. So you're feeling nice and comfortable kicking up against the wall. So now we're gonna try it in the middle of the floor. You're gonna pick a point on the floor. You're gonna to lunge towards that position. You're gonna push the floor away, allow the hips to come up. Bring your feet together, hold that position, and then come back down. From there, we're gonna do the same thing, but now on the opposite side. So we lunge, we push that floor away. We come up again, just pushing the floor away so we stay elevated. We come back down to our feet and we try again. Next up, another chest to wall handstand. This time we're conditioning our handstand. So we're gonna go as close as we can with the chest. We're gonna look straight down at our hands and we're gonna hold for time. So hands go on the floor, we push the floor away, feet go up, walk in nice and close. Again, stay elevated, tuck the pelvis and hold in this position. If you want a bit more of a challenge, Move the hands out a little bit, stay elevated, and then we're gonna pull our knees down and hold in the tuck position. To come out, we go back up to straight, and then we cartwheel out to the side. If holding the handstand against the wall is too easy, you can come out into the middle of the floor and work on some endurance holds in a handstand. So we kick up, And what I usually focus on in an endurance hold, is just looking at the floor, making sure my ribs are pulled in, and just trying to relax whilst breathing here. 